Greetings, YouTube community. It's me again, Weak Love of 555. And today I'm going to show you what to do if you mess up your Firefox. For example, you have installed tons of extensions and you want to remove them. And I, now I'm going to show you how to do this. Like, for example, I've now installed a lot of extensions and add-ons to my Firefox 8 version and I want to deinstall them now and how and so I just open up my Firefox which is already running my Firefox 8 this is my Firefox 8 now as you see it looks totally different from my last video and for example now I go here to add-on and I press on extensions. These are all the extensions I've currently installed. And for example, I want to remove this test pilot. I can here disable it. This will disable the extension, but it will not be installed. And if I click remove, then this in this installate uh, this add-on will pretty re will be removed. So, uh, but I have now to restart my Firefox. So I will restart my Firefox as it, as it was mentioned already. So we we'll just wait and wait until Firefox loads up again. So okay, blah blah blah. I get now another that my browser protect blah 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 which I have installed recently too. It's just that I've just installed some add-ons to test them around, fool with them around. As you can see there are very tons of extensions. This extension here, each you know, is a very recommended extension. Because now you can see which uh, extensions you have already installed and which are... Uh, uh, which extensions you can also... And, uh, remove. So, for example, I've installed Test Pilot. I can here select. I can here select it, and all values with this extensions are now removed. So I also click here on Test Pilot Labs and select Clear Selected, and then it automatically automatically also removes this. This is pretty cool and handy extensions which you should also get but you can also manually do this because many many extensions leave a lot of stuff <coughs> in a separate file which I will show you now so I just go again to use uh, to my normal computer and then I press on my C, uh, on my hard disk where my where, where your Windows or your your OS is installed, then I go to my pro, personal Firefox profile. So I have to click here some through some folders until I get my Mozilla Firefox profile. So which is as you know, which is Firefox test. And as you can see, there is a file called press.js. This is the main Firefox profile, uh, Firefox uh, profile file which you need to, uh, if you want to change stuff or if you want to install, uh, re uh, deinstall stuff. For example, blah blah blah. This, as you can see, okay, this is already an installed extension blah 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 let's see what I have inside here as I didn't change much around here as you can see there is a lot of stuff there is not much inside it there should be around the normally there is I think I just opened the wrong profile so let's see yeah there is the FFA test this is my Firefox profile as you can see there is a lot of stuff inside Bob, Stamp, Ghostery, blah blah blah. 
and you can see this is here the file is here too press from the other so I just press edit I open it and then it automatically as you can see there are a lot of extensions as you can see the user press extensions blah 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 these are all extensions and as you can see here the extension test pilot which I auto which I remove manually is still inside this file. So if you want to really clearly remove something from your Firefox you have to open up press.js and delete this entry and delete this entry manually. So I just delete this and then I just save it and I close it and then I can run my file from here again as you can see this extension is no longer appearing here inside which is a uh, uh, pilot but the problem is the file is remain the uh, uh, if you have installed an extension in an, an extension there, uh, there are the press.js has still saved some data inside it so you have to manually remove this as I showed you so I hope you liked this video until next time your weed lover 555 goodbye